Welcome everybody to the Bullock Experience and welcome to uh, Jig Tying. Uh, today I've got to make some bunch of jigs out, so uh, just join me today and we'll get some jigs tied. Started here. Get my stuff out here is it going. What's up, Nate? What's going on, bud? So, give you all a little hint of what we're making. So, we won't move. So that's what we're making. We're making little um, squirmy worms today. I got a bunch of these little squirmy worms today. So that's what we're making, little squirmy worms. I got about 50, uh, another 14 more to go. So. way try not to go too tight on it but also keep it loose enough monte what's up buddy what's up coastal how's it going everybody Appreciate y'all coming hanging out. I know I've been live. I haven't done a live in a while, so not on this channel. It's been a couple of weeks. I've enjoyed I've enjoyed my days off now. But I gotta get in here and do this stuff right here. I gotta get some jigs made and get them out to somebody. So I'm just sitting here doing this right here, so This is going to be the fun part doing the, the whip finish on this part because I got to hold that part back and whip finish behind it, in front of it. That's the, that's going to be the true test here. If I can whip finish this. Oh yeah, we good, we good. Let's have an awesome, wonderful people in here. Appreciate y'all coming and hanging out with me while I'm doing this. And I'm gonna seal the threads up, make it a little little tougher I'll pull the tail back a little bit and then right here's where I'm gonna cut off right behind the tail here
Ouais. All right, guys. I forgot to count my air down here. So another little wiggly worm here. So. There's two of them done. Got another three more of those to go. Let's get that started here. How in the world did I do that? Okay. Trying to figure out how in the world in the world did I get my thread all piled up there? No, I need my nail polish. I know, I know. Hey, we got snow right now. I'm, I wish. I was going to go out the other day, but man, it's been so bad around here. But I'll get I'll get that video for you. Even if I just go out in the yard and do it, I'll do it out in the yard. So what I'm doing is I'm using, trying to mimic an actual worm on a fly uh, is what I'm doing right now. So what I'm doing is I'm taking these little wiggly worms and I am tying close to the same color as I can on thread. I'm building up a base on the hook. And then I'll lay my worm out on it and then I'll tie in the center kind of like the, like what it, the worm would have that center, that center spot. So, I've got my base up on that one. What's up, Cold Creek? we got eight wonderful people in here. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, guys. I know I haven't been live in a while, but... Family's been coming first, so I've been enjoying family. So, buggies in here. All right. Let's cut our next one. So, what I'm using, guys, is I'm using these little... I've got a whole bunch of these little wiggly worms. In different colors, so so I'm making I'm making five of the green, uh, I'm making five of the pink, and five of the purple. First few reps, I'm doing like I'm just lightly putting it on there because I'm trying to get it to sit where I need it to sit while I'm holding it. And then I'll start wrapping them up pretty good. But I don't want to go too tight because I don't want to pinch it off. As long as it sits up on top of the hook, I'm good. So basically, I'm just sitting here. I'm making that little bump like you would see on a worm. Um, so that's basically what I'm doing right now. I'm just making that bump. I mean, it might be larger than normal. Uh, than what a real bump would look like on a worm. But that's just the way I'm doing it. Uh, do you... So you do any carp fishing? No, I do not. Um... I don't even know if we even got carp around here. Uh, honestly, they might be some in our lake. I just don't pay attention to it. All right. And these don't take very long. I mean, once you get started and get and get it to where you need it to be, it don't take very long at all. And then now I just need to go in here. 
me pull that back pull that down and then just do a couple whip finishes here Pull that tight. What's up, Lance? We got we got some of the uh, old guard dog crew in here tonight. What's up, and everybody? Appreciate y'all coming in here and hanging out with me. All right. So I'm gonna take that. We're gonna cut right. I'm gonna cut right there. On that side, and I'm gonna cut right there on that side. Cut again on that side. And then cut again on that side. All right, there we go. So there's another one done. Oh yeah. Wiggle while you work. Sounds like an adult movie. <laughs> Thank you, Redneck. Kelly is a rock bass fisherman. What up, Kelly? All in chat. What's up, 922? Yep, I am. I am a bass fisherman by trade. Creek fisherman, bluegill fisherman, whatever. I mean, I've done it all. I fish for about everything. Carp's one I really not tried. Because we just, I just don't really think we have anything here, but you never know. You never know. Ooh, a little too much on that one. Pull some of that off. There you go. A little too much on it. Oh, I, I guarantee I would love it. Oh, I love my rock bass. Love my rock bass. I'm still, I'm still going after that uh, state record. I'm still going to go after it this year. I'm going to hunt that sucker down. All right. So number another one. Front's all flimsy too, so. There's three done. Just got in from work. Thanks again for the spotlight video. Oh, you're welcome, buddy. You're welcome anytime. Anytime, anytime, anytime. So. I just figured I'd sit down here and do some of this stuff, so. Cut me off another worm. What's up, Billy? What's up? We got 13 wonderful people in here watching. Appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up and share it out for me, please. Trying to, for my master fish pin this year. Missing it by one fish. Oh, nice. I didn't even looked at that kind of stuff to see what I need to do to do all that stuff, so. I'll put some little bit of nail polish on there. I'm going to get high smelling this stuff all night. Man, this stuff's strong. All right, so get my base built up now. So that's what I'm working on right now. I'll get my base built up here. And it should be all right, and then I gotta go right back to the middle. Once my base is built up, and I gotta put my my string right back to the middle. Daryl and Woody, our new guard dog pro staff members, congratulate to them when you see them. Oh, absolutely, I will. Absolutely.
I got somebody messaging me. Appreciate everybody coming in here. Got me a nice little crowd in here tonight. A little good little crowd in here tonight, definitely. All right. So I'm trying to figure out where my worm is at. What, what 922? Oh, if he's got Daryl. Yeah, he's scraping the bottom if he has to go get Daryl to join the team. <laughs> I'm going to try to pull. There we go. A little bit back a little bit. I don't want to go too much. I'm going to try. All right. Get that back up on top there because I don't want it to go too far down. All right. What are they saying? Oh, downtown Ernie Brown. What's going on, buddy? All right. Let's see what they said on message. All right. We might have a guest jump in with us later. We'll see. All right. Let's whip finish this one. Said I'm just only do a couple whips on it, and then that's it. That's all I'm doing. So pop that one off if I can. There we go, and then pull tight. All right. Is Kelly getting jiggy with it? I am tonight. I gotta make these worms out. I gotta get these worms. I gotta get these worms built. So I can get these out on the, out on the road. Uh, trying to get the pain stop. Um, yeah, I, that's that's something I don't know a lot about. I mean, I get I know pain, but I don't know that much about it. I know um, my dad uses a lot of um, what is it? Um, mm, um, I can't even think of it. Biofreeze. Uses biofreeze for a lot of the pain. Ooh, stinky, stinky, stinky. Right. Oh, I gotta, I gotta cut that one off. Forgot about that. About to jump the gun. On us. Yeah, just about jumped the gun. I gotta cut that one off. All right, so that one's done. So there's another one done. A little wiggly worm. So. so that's four. One more of the green color, and then we'll go on to something else. Got to run. Have a great evening, everyone. Appreciate you, Monty. I'll holler at you. I'll holler at you later.
All right, let's be the last green one we do, and then we'll switch colors. Uh, I'm using, I meant to mention this, but I'm using a... I don't even tell me what color it is. Everybody in the world's texting. Mother in law, everybody. All right. Oh. Did I? I haven't put my. I keep on. I remember to put this stuff on there so the thread would tighten, would stay tight on it here. I'm not, not putting much. I'm just putting a little bead on that part. Because I just want the thread just to stay. I don't need the threads loosening up and sliding on me. Later on. So this just helps to keep it on there. So just putting a little bit. Alright, like I said. Go all the way back to where it starts with the bend. Build up my base again, like I said. Like I said, I'm using the green as close as... As close as to the, the worm I am using. And just build up that base a little bit. So it's got a little bit of a base underneath of it. So it's not the worm sitting right on the metal. Or on the hook. Shank of the hook. Alright. And then when I get ready to finish, I'll drop my thread right at the center. Cut the excess off. Cut that little excess off. And I've even cleaned up a little bit too, guys. I mean, look at this. Because it used to be my desk was like a mess. Like everything was everything. So I sat here down here the other day and I cleaned it all up. So I've got all my all my Chanel and everything. All that's in here. My rabbit furs. Um, other, all of my other Chanel's and stuff. Um... Uh, I even got some beads I could put on some stuff. Um, I've got all these, the flash. I got some of the little the rubber flash. I've got that all that in there. And then I, all my feathers and stuff. I got this little tray uh, from my nephew. Uh, he gave me a tray with some uh, glass in it. Coca-Cola glass for Christmas, and so I used it to put all my feathers and stuff in it. So all my feathers and stuff, all my little bag of use, loose ones, and then all the flash, and then all the rest of my feathers are in it. So worked out pretty good. And then I've got my, I've got some hooks and stuff in a, some hooks and stuff I put in here. That I'm gonna uh, tie jigs with those hooks. And then I got my little tray that's got my thread and stuff in it. So, all right. Last green one. Like I said, I'm using I'm using these. So, these little wiggly worms here. So, that's my green ones. They come in a very long pile of them. I've got some in my hand that got broke off. So, this is how they come in. I come in a strand like that. And then I just cut off what I need. What's going on, baby girl? There's my daughter, Sky in the house. What's going on? So I'm just going to pull that one off. I ain't going to cut it. I just pulled that one off. So I'll pick a spot here. Trying to get the fronts to sit just about where they need to be sitting. Like that. And the good thing is that these sits kind of however you want to sit them. So I'm just going to tie these up here. Another three inches of snow, 35 mile per hour winds, chill going to be minus 27 in the morning. Sounds like a good day to go fishing. <laughs> oh, good God, Joe. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, you're killing me, Jello. You're killing me. You're killing me, Jello. You're killing me. I just popped in. I saw somebody pop in. Oh. My daughter's talking to everybody. My daughter's talking to everybody. All right. All right. Now time to whip finish this one. And there, pull that down, cut that thread off. And this thread is done, so I can pop that one off. This thread is done, so I won't be using it again. So, all right, so I need to cut this one off. Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. Pull down off the back side of that. Go ahead and get my cuts in here. Yeah. There's my cuts. Finish up with the polish to seal the threads in. <laughs> Another thumbs up from you, baby. Appreciate you, little baby girl. All right. Another little wiggly worm. So that's that's the fifth green one. So I've got five green ones done now. So now it's time to go to a different color. So these are done for. No more of these. For the night today. And double check and make sure my colors. I'm pretty sure he said pink and purple. But I'm going to make sure. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there it is. Uh, green. Okay, he wants green, bluish purple, and pink. He wants that bluish purple one. So the bluish purplish one, which is all right. We got pink. There's the pink. And then we got the bluish purple, which is that one. That's the bluish purple. And then that's and then this is the purple. That's the purple one. And then we have yellow. So he wants he wants five of these. Five of the pink. And like I said, he wants five of the green ones. So All right, so we'll work on, you want pink? You want to do some pink ones? We'll do some pink ones. All right, let's see what we got down here. We can use pink. So that's the thing, and now i got to match up something close to our pinks, which I don't have anything close enough. I guess I want to use that right there, I guess. We really don't have anything close enough to pink. Oh, that's orange. Yeah, this is about the closest I've got. It's almost a reddish color, but it's a pink. So. All right, that's fine. So that's that's the closest I'm going to have to be able to use. What's up, Mr. Tully? So I'm going to have to use that color right there. So that should be. Oops. If I can keep a hold of it. So we'll just have to use it over those two. Warner has four eyes and can't see. What has four eyes and can't see? Me. Me. 
I have four eyes. I can't see either. I can't see either. What's up, Steve Mosley? What's going on, buddy? Just here playing with some jigs. Tying some jigs up. <laughs> Talk to text don't work. <laughs> Talk to text don't work. All right, there we go. Got that one. All right. We got 13 wonderful people in the house. Mississippi. So, for those who are coming in, we're making squirmy worm flies uh, for an order. I've got my first uh, jig order, so I've got to make 15 jigs. So, so right now I'm just making my squirmy wormy jigs for them. All right. So build up. So I got to build up a base. Get it nice and built up. And then drop my thread down the center. Cut my thread off. All right. Time for some pink squirmy wormies. So I'll just Cut a little piece off. Cut a little piece off there. So what I'm doing is each one of these little squirmy worms has a round front. They have a round tip. You can see that. And then the other side has got the square. So what I'm doing is where I cut it off back there. So what I'm doing is I'm taking that round and that was going to be the point going out. So, it's got like a little black feather on it or something. Okay, there you go. And then what I'm doing is lightly going over while I'm putting pressure on the worm to stay in the center on the back side of that jig. But I'm not trying to tighten down as much on the worm because I don't want to split through it and cut it off and then it ain't worthless. And it's worthless. So I'm just wrapping it, getting a nice little wrap around it while keeping it in the center. All right. Back up there for a minute to see what was going on. There we go. All right, and then I go. Lloyd A's. There you go, Lloydies. Wiggle while you work. Look at it, wiggle. What's up, Susquehanna? What's the target fish? I don't know. Uh, this person didn't tell me what they're hunting for, so I'm just making these. So he has he has an idea of what he's wanting to hunt with them for. So I'm just I'm just making them for him and making sure that he has a good product to go out and go fishing with it. 
So. Well, looky, looky, who is there? Well, I'll send you an invoice for the appearance. How are you? <laughs> What's going on? I, I just had a few minutes. That's Come fine. up for a few minutes. I just got done eating. What are you working on good. there? I am working on my squirmy worms. Flies. So that's what I'm working on. Well, I can say I've never seen that before. <clears throat> but it should work. Yep. Basically, I'm trying to make a presentation that looks just like a worm. Should work at the creek for sure. Oh yeah, should. Oh, there you go. Well, it's for this is actually for somebody. So somebody had somebody had messaged me and said that they wanted some of these. Well, will you quit coming off there? Or maybe they use them at a farm pond. Well, they could be. Uh -huh. They could be. I really don't know. I don't know where they're going to be using them at. All right. Sesquahanna Stan wants to know if we're going to convoy now. Troy, we gonna, I don't know. If I don't know. Nobody ain't told me that. <laughs> <clears throat> Nobody's told me that. <clears throat> You're still waiting on everybody to get their stuff together. I guess I'm the last one to know anything around here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's asking me if we're gonna convoy or are we gonna or they maybe asking convoy. if you're all gonna convoy tonight. Maybe. I don't know what he's what he's talking about. Let's see. Oh, they must be gonna convoy. Yeah, they in they in my they're over in my uh are they over on uh on Yeah on the Discord. Y'all go ahead. I'm gonna catch up with y'all later. <laughs> I ain't over on the Discord. I might come up there later. A little while. Mm. I'm going to sit here with Kelly a little while, and then I'm going to go watch the bait shop, and then I don't know what I'm going to do. There's the first pink one. How you keep it up coming apart? You clear coat it? What, on the thread? Yeah. Nail polish. Yeah, that's what I mean. Clear coat, huh? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I I put some on the hook. Yeah. That'll help it. And then wrap it, and then I'll put some on the end to make that make it more of a firm. Yeah. So they've been turning out pretty good. So hopefully I sent I sent a picture of the first one I did for him and he, he really liked them, so he wants fifteen of them. Nail polish kind of a he's to that stuff like a glue yeah. on that thread. Yeah, this is a uh, what they call a top coat uh, nail yeah. polish. So it's like a hardening. Yeah, it works pretty good. I used to use it. Oh, yeah. When I painted jig heads, I'd, when I was painting a jig head, that I'd want to uh, yep. make up sure any pin? Chip, I'd use it. It's mm. up Avid. There's Fresno. What's up, buddy? Now you could take those. 
Here's a pro tip for you. You can take those uh, <clears throat> lead jig heads or white. White works good too. And you take a permanent marker and then you can color on those jig heads. Like your eyeballs and things? Well, you can, no, but you can kind of marble or paint them with a color marker. Yeah. And then what you want to do is after you get that painted, you let that dry for just a second, and then you take that clear coat with a, like a paintbrush. Yeah. And dab a little bit of that clear coat on a paintbrush and then paint over it. And what it does is when that uh, clear coat hits that permanent marker, it kind of, it kind of sp splashes it together and kind of makes a tie-dye effect. Yeah, okay. So you end up with a jig head with five or six colors. The good thing about it is you don't ever get one exactly the same. Yeah, true. So that's a pro tip that you can do to kind of spice a, like a, just a white jig head up. It kind of gives it a marble effect. It looks real nice. Yeah. I don't know if it catches any more fish. A lot of that stuff's made to catch fish or might not fish. Oh, Yeah. A lot of the flash, that's a lot of people when we talk about it, especially like with me and Eric Massey, when we talk about it, a lot of the flash is just for the people, really. Well, it does, it does help some, yes. you know, but, but yeah, all that, uh, uh, all that stuff is really, yeah, to catch fishermen. Oh, yeah. The market. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> But if somebody goes out and they catch a bunch of fish on them and they believe in them uh, yeah. and they believe in the lure they're using, it makes them fish it harder and fish it better. Yeah. And they do better with it. So it does have a little bit of both sides to it. Yeah. And the good thing is, is like, the, like these wiggly worms is not one of them are exactly the same the way the worm sits. Uh -huh. So that's the good thing about these. They're all different so that way you're not you're you're pre you're presenting that worm in a whole different way like that one doesn't look like it's got that much of a bend at the tip look at look at the bend on that one uh -huh. see the bend on it's a lot different Right now I'm just trying to get a get a good wrap on it so it'll stay in place. Cause you know you know as well as I know when you start pulling on the thread it wants to slide to one side. Oh yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, he's right. You can't catch anything unless you just try. It says you cannot catch unless you try it. It's called fishing. Yep. Yeah. Oh, called... Well, you know, there's all kinds of stuff. You know, all kinds of colors and oh yeah, glitter and 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 you know, it all catches fish. Don't don't get me wrong. Oh yeah. It all it all catches fish. Now, how many? Or how often? <laughs> yeah, but it all catches fish. Oh yeah. I mean, I've had days where it wasn't nothing else working, and I'd try something completely off the wall and catch a few. So it all works. Oh yeah. But the trick is uh, to narrow down what works consistently and when. That's the trick. Yeah. Uh, Avid, these are a dollar a piece. I figure that's pretty reasonable on price wise. I always had certain colors that I would start fishing with depending on the month. Yeah. Because I knew from past experiences what the fish were going to start biting in that time frame. Yeah. 
But yeah, they're they're a dollar a piece, Avid. Your payment info. Whoop. I'll have to redo that one. I don't know if you saw that worm fall apart. Fall apart? Yeah, it did. Yeah. That's what happens. It does. Yep, it happens. Sometimes I pinch it too hard. I broke it. Yeah, I will. I will have it. I'll send it to you later. Yep, it happens. I'll have to do another one. I just got done doing your wrestler. Did you really? Uh huh. About an hour ago. Does it does it does it look better than the last one? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like no. I told my wife. I said I probably get them some emojis and a message on this. Probably. <laughs> Knowing, knowing how you've done it, yeah, probably. Oh, Lord. I told her by the day, because Jody wasn't going to go fishing tomorrow night. I didn't know yeah. if she's kidding. I didn't know if she's kidding about doing a cooking channel uh, show or not, but evidently she's going to do a cooking show tomorrow night. So I had told everybody I was going to do a live if Jody wasn't going to go live. Yeah. But I think Jody's going to go live, actually, and do a, she's actually going to do a cooking show. Yeah. So I may push mine back to Saturday night. I don't want to go over Stan. <clears throat> so we may push it back to Saturday night. Yeah. It's hard to keep up with all these shows. It, it is. Unless you look at it on paper. Uh, and the time zones are different. Uh, yep. They're on Eastern time. I'm on Central time. Yep. <clears throat> so, but we're going to do one here in the next night or two, but I'm, I'm either going to, I'll probably push it back Saturday night. Oh, I know, Avid. I know, I know Troy got his butt whooped today on his show. Hey, I give, I give that Bigfoot a run for his money though. Oh, I know you did. You did, definitely. I got to spend some time on that game, figuring out all the, the controls and everything. Yeah. I think that's only the second time that I've played that game since I got it. I, I got on there and did run some tests, and that was it. Oh, Make okay. sure everything was working before I did that Working show. good, yeah. It's It's... If you're not if you're not used to that game, it's 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 hard to get used to it. Yeah, but I think I think you'll enjoy that game. Honestly, I really do. Especially with the new with the new matches and everything, I think you'll I think you'll like it. There's a lot of new matches in there, ain't there? Yes, they are, and I love them. I think that's probably 2K's leading game now. You know, that basketball game used to be the leading game, but it's kind of... Oh, yeah. That's 2K, 2K basketball has kind of took a downturn. Yeah. In my opinion. Oh, yeah, it has. Years. Oh. <clears throat> this is the first year in... Several years that I've seen mostly mostly negative ratings on that game. On the basketball one. Yeah, I really I've not really seen much much of people actually playing the game. No, nah, well I think they sort of left PC players out of the yeah. next gener of the next generation. I am yeah. I did I did see that. What's up, Sunfish? We've got 11 awesome people in here. 
do appreciate y'all joining, hanging out with me. Try not to pinch this one off this time. At least it's finally warmed up down here. It warmed up for you all? Yes. It ain't Better. for us. We're getting ready to hit another cold spell. Well, we're fixing to get it too, but it ain't going to be as bad as the last one. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, we can get cold, and then it's going to start raining Monday, and I got to go to the doctor in the rain. I ain't thrilled about that. Yeah, I heard about that. I heard you got to go. You got well. You're going for your your uh, wheelchair. Yeah, I got to go get a ride prescription. Yeah. Oh, wait. And then I'll have to go to the physical therapist for the for they order it. Now all, all this stuff you got to do, you know. Oh yeah. Uh I keep trying to convince them people that I. It's a very unlikely that I'm gonna get up, and start walking tomorrow. So <laughs> I might as well just buy it. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> it puts you all through this all this red tape bureaucracy, you know. Yeah. Uh, y'all been sitting around waiting for it to change 50 years. If you can hear me, it ain't likely to change tomorrow. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, it takes about a year to get everything done. Oh, yeah. Uh, I remember you talking about all that before ridiculous yeah and when they finally get down to the, the point where they approve the chair i think it takes 14 days for them to build it <laughs> and shit. that's ridiculous that's, that's ridiculous. ridiculous it is knee you need some quail feathers i'm not doing quail feathers on this stuff these are squirmy worms he must be in South Texas because he sure wasn't no 63 here today. Ooh, about dumped, about dumped his polish right in my lap. Uh, let's see. Monty's back in the house. He said, Kelly, you, we've got 16 guard dog pro staff brothers. Can you send them five different colors of each? If I give you their mailing info, I would like to send them some for their efforts. Just get with me. There you go. There's another order. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. Yeah. I you'll, can do that. You'll keep on messing around. All you'll be doing is coming on work, sending it to advice, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'll be doing. Sitting yeah. here with the, with his vice. Yep. Yeah, I can do that. I had the bright idea that I was going to sell jigs on eBay one time. And I made some jigs. And I thought, well, I'll do them on auction. That way I can make them at my own pace. And I thought that's a pretty good idea. Until a man from Michigan bought packaged jigs a box of jigs that I tied and he took them out ice fishing on a bunch of ice with about 75 ice fishermen. And I got 39 emails the next day because <laughs> he caught a bunch of fish and they won't know where he got them jigs at. I opened that email box up and I thought, what in the world is this? They want me to make jigs for them. Uh -huh. like, yeah, boys, I don't think that's going to happen. This is a one man operation. Weatherford. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lloydies, uh, not tonight because I don't know how much longer I'm going to be on here, honestly. Uh, the wife and child are, are on their way home. So I know when they get here, my child would want to be with me. So 
once they get here, I'll probably shut this thing down. And then I'll probably, depending on how much I've got left to build, I'll probably just work on this stuff tomorrow. I might, because I'm not going anywhere tomorrow anyways. Because they're calling for an inch of ice. And then on top of that, another four inches of snow, which we already have an inch of ice and seven inches of snow. So I ain't working tomorrow. And I know before I got down here, it was already, it was already um, sleeting outside. So I know it's going to be bad. And they still haven't even got our roads all completely clear. Our road right now is solid. It was pretty much solid white this morning when I left. Came home and it was kind of melted. The sun kind of melted when it got a little warm, but it's still pretty bad. Yeah, it'll probably be black ass tonight. Oh, I'd say it is. I didn't bring my trailer home because I knew I couldn't get it back inside the, inside the driveway. So, yeah. I'm going to go here in a little while and build some more wrestlers, I guess. Yep. I already built two. I'm trying to think of, I knew, I was, I was thinking of one earlier that I know you hadn't built yet. Um, oh my God, don't make, don't, don't start naming off names. I got a list <laughs> you wouldn't believe. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the messages I get. People want me to make them a wrestler. Oh no problem. What he said, it, it ain't that. I just, I just don't, I just don't honestly don't know how much longer I'm going to be on here, honestly. Because as soon as I hear them pull up, I'm probably going to shut her down and and work on these tomorrow. Plus, I got to send, I got to send, uh, I have my information to start making him some, and then now, <laughs> and now Monty's got me building a whole bunch of them now, five different colors of each. Get Abby to see some of his beard hair to make him out of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be hilarious. That'll be absolutely hilarious. That's, that beard, so long as you can make a bucktail jig out of it for a striper. There you go. Yeah. You probably could. Oh, my goodness. You probably could. I enjoy these little things. These are these these little things are just neat. I mean, the way they come in. Did I show you how how they come in? Have you seen them? I don't even know what they are. What are this? This is this is how they come in. What is that? These are like a, they're like a what they call a squirmy wormy is what they call them. Oh, they're like a squirmy wormy, and they come like this. With that strip, and then you can take them. And they stretch and everything. How limber are they? Oh, they're... So... See? Let me, let me give you a little... Let me give you a little idea. Cut one of them things off. Uh-huh. And put it in the microwave for about three seconds. Yeah. And then flatten that tail out and make a crappie jig out of it. Use that... Just use one piece on the back for crappie jig, because mm -hmm. if you put it in the microwave, it'll straighten it out. I have to, I have to try that out. We used to do that with uh, old Bobby Garland. They get them in a package cricket and have a little bent up tail, and we put them in the microwave and get them a little bit warm and kind of flatten them out, and they'd set up straight. I'll have to. I'll have to look at that. That, that yeah, sounds. Works. I like that. I like that idea. See, I, that's what I'm saying. Like this is this is right here is new to me, anyways. This this right here yeah. what I'm doing. So, so something something like that might be interesting to work on. Now, now and, listen, and get put something. them on a fucking plate when you do it because if you melt that on your wife's microwave, you ain't never gonna hear the end. Of it. <laughs> she she kill me. I know she kill me. <laughs> yeah, don't 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 lay it on the glass dish. She key. Oh, I know she would. I know she would. What's up, Small World? What's up, Kevin Fishes? What's going on? Appreciate y'all coming in here. We're just sitting here making some squirmy wormies. Squirmy wormy jigs. Fly, flies. I guess you could say it because they're 
made with the fly uh, hook. I used to know an old man took him crappie devils and he put them in his mouth. Yeah. Like, like a dip of snuff. Yeah. So he didn't waste them. So he put them in his mouth and he'd get them moist and bottom of his lip. He'd stick his finger down there and pull some off his, off his teeth and rub it on his jig. There you go. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> no, no, I'm not doing that either. <clears throat> Nope, I wouldn't do that either. He smiled at you, his teeth would be chartreuse <laughs> or hot pink. <laughs> but no, they do stretch pretty good. I mean, oh, yeah, they stretch out. That's here. that's that's a normal. I'm just I'm just barely holding it, and I mean. Mm -hmm. I'm 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 still pulling. So they got they got some good elac el elasticity. So But I actually organize organize my stuff, so I've got all my Chanel and all my flash inside here. That little tin. And then my nephew bought me a little one of those uh Coca Cola gift baskets. It had like Coca Cola glass and stuff in it. Well, that's the box from it, so I just put all my feathers and stuff in it. Keep it organized. Yeah, you get to be a full time jig tire, that won't last long. Oh, I know. I'm gonna have to. I'm probably gonna end up having to buy some more here here shortly, especially hooks right now. If I'm gonna do all these orders. I'm gonna have to buy some more hooks. That stuff be strolled all over the room in there. Oh, it was. <laughs> Trust me, it was. But since since I was off this week because of the all the ice and snow, my wife said, "Hey, you need to go clean your office." So guess what I done. I went and cleaned my office. I love ginger ale. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'll take off. All right. Get, get them lures tied up. Yeah, I'm working on them. Clean, clean up your mess before your wife gets on, boy. You'll, you'll get <laughs> I'll see you. Bye. See you, man. Appreciate Just you. See you guys. <laughs> Uh, I put maggots. And I said I put maggots in my mouth and warm them up. Ugh. I wouldn't do that. I don't care. I don't care how good of what kind of good fisherman I am. I wouldn't do that. Nope. Nope. Yeah, I, I'd say they would wiggle more, but no, no, no. I wouldn't do it. Nope. I don't care if they wiggle more or not. I ain't doing it. I think I hear the garage. I'm not for sure, but they're on their way home, so they're gonna be here any moment, any minute. Which way I want to lay that one? I'm gonna lay that one that way. Cross that one, cross that way, cross that way, cross that way. All right. Make sure it's laid up on top there. Then I will.
Oopsie. Now, I don't want to pinch it again too hard. So I'm trying to back off a little bit and not wrap it too much, too tight. Because if I pinch it too hard, then it'll just, it'll cut. This thread will actually cut. It's not actually a soft thread. It's more of a tinsel thread. So it's a little bit more hardened. All right. Oh, I believe you. I wouldn't do it. You ain't gonna catch me doing that stuff. No. I think I put worms in my mouth when I was a kid, but that, nope. Nope, 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 nope. I ain't doing that stuff. Finish it a couple times, pull it through. Here we go. There it goes. Pull it through and cut it off. What's up, Missy? What's up? Didn't know if you were what you was up to tonight. So I'm making some wiggle worm, wiggle squirmy wormy flies. That's what I'm doing tonight. Some wiggle worms. There's another one. Oop, let me down, down, down on the hook. So. There's another one. I just got done tying jigs too. <laughs> yeah, I'm making, or I'm making an order out already. My first order going out. These guys. So. Smelly, smelly, smelly. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, so there's five. There's four there. Where's the Moo Moo at? Oh, he just left. Moo Moo just left. You just missed him. Yep, you just missed Moo Moo. All right, put back in the center, drop that down, cut off the excess here. Put down my knife too soon. This will be the last one of this one.
we get manufactured maggots deliberately made for fishing. Oh, natural, no way. Uh, okay, you're talking about you're talking about manufactured ones. Or are you talking about putting those real ones in your mouth? Because I wouldn't ever put a real one in my mouth. Ever. You'll never catch me put, put a real one in my mouth. Ever. Uh, my phone just went off. Missy just sent me some stuff. Ooh, I like that, Missy. I'm actually making this out for somebody else. Actually, I've got some made already for me. But I'm actually making... I've actually got some made for somebody else right now. Uh, so this is an actual an order for somebody else that, in, that actually liked it, so... Uh, they made, they wanted me to make them a whole bunch. So, I will once spring starts hitting. I'll, I'll actually start using the ones I've got. I already made up. I'll grab them here in a minute and I'll show you what I've got already. But yeah, that one you sent me, that's nice looking. I like that. I don't know what that is, Lloydies. You got to remember, we're we're not in the UK, so... Some of these companies that you've worked for over there, I've never heard of. What's up, Jay and Jay? What's up, buddy? All right. So there's the fifth one. So if you're coming in, what we're doing is we're making, I'm making flies out of these. I mean, they're, let me get one on toward the end here. So you can see where I'm stretching it from. So you see where I'm stretching it from right there. So, I mean, I'm, both ends are off the camera. <laughs> so, I mean, they're, they're stretchy. So they got, they got some good elasticity on it. So, all right, we're done with that one. So now I need, there's one, two, three, four. All right. So I need to find, I need to grab me another hook. Make up for that one. So I got five more to make on this one, on this order, and I'll be done with this order. I can send this out in the mail here soon. I gotta buy some more hooks. <laughs> I gotta go buy some more hooks. After this one. So we've done green. And we've done the pink. So we've done, here's my pink. And then this is my green. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to make it look more natural. Um, I, mean, I mean, a lot of people know what, what a worm looks like. I keep on, I can't even type right now. All right.
So let me do this here. We go back into here. Close that one out. Let me share my screen real quick here. So the part where it's more pale looking, that's the part where I'm tying in at. So I'm trying to make it more more natural looking. So I'm using trying to use the color closest enough to the color of the worm as best as I can. <laughs> so I, that's 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 where I'm trying to, but yeah, the uh, adding some dubbing and stuff like that wouldn't wouldn't be too bad, honestly. Um, it actually wouldn't be that bad to do that. So, but next we're gonna do this bluish purple looking color, which so then I have I have yellow, and then I have an actual purple. Like a pinkish purple, I guess you'd say, but it's more of a purple. This one's more of a bluish purple to me. So that's what I'm doing next. So I got to do five of those. So let's get started. All right. Probably put that on too soon because now I got to find thread. I got a fine thread, so this one's done. That thread's done. It'll go back in its baskets here. Now I got a fine thread that's going to look more toward this blue. Uh, that's too, too obvious blue. What it was? It's probably the only blue I've got, honestly. Two black colors. That's too more of a too much of a bluish green. I guess we just have to go with this blue I got here. So, uh, those those jellos, I think, looking cool. If I'm correct, uh, they're like they're like a like a squirmy worm, like almost like a just like a little pretty much nothing really. Okay. I don't even know if I've got your number, Missy. <laughs> Holler at me. Uh, send me a message with your number in it. Uh, I know I got you. Don't send it on the group one. Uh, just send it to me on personally on it. And I'll give you a call later. I might call you. I'll just call you in the morning. Uh, we're being late tonight. I'll just call you. I'll just call you in the morning. So, so there's there's my spool, but then I'm using my little thread counter in the center. If you can see it on my from my mic there, and I'm gonna put my stuff on there, my thread in there, and I'm gonna pull it through because it's it's a lot harder on some of this thread. So, Oops. Making a mess already. All right. All right. If you want to delete that uh, off the main messenger, uh, with a group one, go ahead and do that. I've got it copied already. That way, not everybody has your personal number. Because <laughs> there's a whole bunch of guys on there that, I mean, it, it ain't nothing I'm going to worry about your number, but I don't need, I don't feel like having your personal number out there forever. Everybody can see it. So I'm going to build up the base like I always do, like I've been doing with all the other ones. Build up the base underneath of it. So that way it's not sitting on it. And then when I get to where I think I've got a good 
base on it, then I'll swing it back up to the middle, and then I'll just drop it down. All right, snip off the excess. Grab me a squirmy wormy here. Off. So this is. I'll show you again how they come in. So they come in a little strip like that with a bunch of them on each side. So that middle one's not that middle thing is not that elastic like the others, like the, all the little pieces are, but it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna go ahead and cut my five that I need. One, two, three, three, four. I'm gonna cut my fifth one off here. That way I have them already already cut off, so I don't have to worry about them. All right, so all five of them are done now. All right, so I'll take that, stick that on there, let the little worm stick up, and then I'll just start threading the on there. Slowly, because I don't want it, I don't want it to go too tight. That's the thing. Because what it is is you don't want it to pinch. Because if you pinch it, it's gonna break. It's gonna it's gonna come through there because that that squirmy wormy is not really that that tough. It's it's pretty soft. So I'm trying not to pinch too much of it. And this thread is not too bad. This thread is not as bad as the one I just got done using. So it's not as going to pinch. It's not going to pinch as much as the other one does. And plus this one actually fuzzies out. So. Oh, I will. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Lloyd's always, always. All right, a couple more wraps here, make sure it looks good. And then I'll take it and wrap it on the front. So I left a space on the front so I can do the whip on it. The whip finish on it. I'll pull it back. Oh, yep. Pull it too far back. All right, there you go. I'm getting better at this whipping stuff. Used to really, really stink at it. <laughs> I sucked at whipping. I really did. I first started out. And I've got better and better and better, but it takes practice. That's the biggest thing. It takes practice and practice, practice. So, um, let's see. I need to probably need to switch because I think I'm on. Nope, on one. You're not being. Yep. I don't know if. I think somebody else is live already. Yep. So. All right, guys. I'm gonna probably I'm gonna finish up with this one. I'm gonna call it a night. Appreciate you all. Um, y'all go over and hang out in the bait shop tonight. Uh, they're already live, so go over and hang out with them, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace, y'all. Uh, appreciate y'all. Uh, hit me up if y'all want some of these or any of the jigs I've been tying. So um, I'm not like double hook and stuff where I make the same jigs over and over and over. Um, all mine are unique every time I tie them, so they're not, none of them are the same. So, but peace, guys. Appreciate y'all. We'll see y'all in the next one. Later.